welcome back to a global dosage of golf. Today we're going to be playing an iconic golf course dedicated to President Abraham Lincoln, but also has an eerie, an eerie foundation story. But we'll get to that afterwards. Let's go to the first tee. All right, we're going to tee off. First hole, here we go. I used to compete in the San Francisco City Golf Championship, which took place both on TPC Harding Park and at Lincoln Park. I do not remember being able to see like so many things here. Like you see the Sutro Tower, you see the Golden Gate Bridge, and you see the Legion, um, the Legion of Honors Museum. Like, how did I not know this? how this course has an eerie foundation story. Um, I don't know if you're ready for this, but I'm gonna go ahead and tell you. And I don't know how, how I've lived here this long without knowing this story. I'm going to take you down the timeline. So in 1902, there was a three hole course built by let's say local golf lovers. This course is built on a cemetery. Yeah. Now, officially, officially, the cemetery was relocated in 1909, which coincidentally is when the course expanded to nine holes in the same year. You know, it doesn't take that long to move a bunch of bodies, you know, rest in peace. I just want you to know that how these date, how the timeline lines up. Now, by 1914, the course expanded to 14 holes, and then it expanded to full 18 holes in 1917-1918. Another headstone, except this is now a monument, but still, and I don't know what this is. Not bad at all. I mean, we have a putt for Brady, so we're good. So what do you guys think so far? Are you guys a little spooked? Like, the next time you come out here and you play at Lincoln, if you play, if you play in the Bay or if you're going to visit and play in the Bay, like, what are your, what are your thoughts? Like, how do you guys feel about this? Let me know below in the comments. There's a little bit of a 
a different store. Actually, it's not so different. I'm not gonna even, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. So on hole 18, they failed to relocate some of the bodies there. So they do say that there are about just over a thousand corpses under the 18th hole. So I would tread lightly when you're playing that hole don't want to disturb anybody down below <laughs> all right it is time to wrap things up let me know which view you like the most because this course has every single view you've got a city line view you got to see the sutra towers you got to see the legion of honors museum and the golden gate bridge we got to see that plenty of times so let me know down below in the comments which view was your favorite. Don't go anywhere yet because we're going to go to the Legion of Honors Museum. You know I don't just end things at the golf course without throwing in a little bit of something you can do while you're in the area. Alright, let's go. Alright, we made it to the Legion of Honor Museum. This is an art museum that was built in 1923 and kind of going off of that same theme of being built on a cemetery. When they were redoing this lawn area right here, they found bodies there. Be sure to 